Here I am. What the? <laughs> Hello and welcome to How to Film Weddings. My name is John Bunn, and honestly, I'm just a little tired of Nick hogging all the YouTube fame with all of his videos recently. So here I am to do a video all about posing your couples as a wedding filmmaker. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So to start this video, I wanted to just throw it out there that posing starts way before the wedding. And when I'm talking about posing, I'm talking about the time that you have with couples during the wedding day. This is that money, the B-roll, the honey backdrop, beautiful, glorious, goodness, buttery footage. Any of that stuff is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about posing couples. And a lot of wedding filmmakers really miss the mark on this. So I'm gonna break down a few tips for you to be thinking about on your upcoming weddings. So this actually starts way before the wedding. You want to work with your couples when they're building their timeline to make sure they have enough time for video and for photo. Most wedding planners are still not giving enough time for video and photo to do what they want. So work with the couple beforehand to really show them you need an extra five to 15 minutes to work with video and photo. This will go a long way and make it so you don't feel pressured and you can be way more relaxed with your couples. So now let's get to the actual wedding day. I can't stress this enough. What looks good on photo does not always look good on video. How many times have you filmed the couple as they're looking over here, smiling at the photographer? It looks like crap to be honest. And so there's a lot of little things you can do, but you have to remember that it's not just about photo. You're the only video person there and you need to step up for the couple so they get the video that they deserve. And before I move on to the next point, if this video has been helpful at all, consider liking this video. It helps us out a ton. One tip that I can't stress enough is that subtle movement is key. We are video people. We're videographers, videotographers, filmmakers, whatever you want to call us. But sometimes we get a little too excited and run around like crazy whenever really have just a couple of subtle camera movements while filming the couple really adds a lot to the film. So subtle movement is key. The next thing I wanna stress is that you can set a pose, you can get the couple set up, and then you can be the one to move around them to get different kinds of shots. You'd be surprised what you can get if you just set the couple up, tell them to be comfortable, and then you work around them. You move to different spots, you get a shot of the hands, you get a shot of their lapel, you get different shots, different looks with them being in one pose. With that, you really wanna be thinking through sequencing. And what I mean by that is you want to be able to tell a story with these poses. If every single shot is the same focal length, the same distance apart, it's gonna look pretty boring. So one thing that we always recommend is thinking wide, medium, tight. Get a wide shot in that pose, get a little bit more close, medium, and then get some tight shots to give yourself some variety. And again, you can do this in one pose. So set up the pose, have some subtle movements, and then think wide, medium, tight. The next piece of advice is just hold the shots a little longer than you would think. Just let the moments breathe, take your time, don't get in such a hurry. I know this much, I used to think I had a shot and I would move real fast, then move again and then move and I'd get back into my editing bay and I would realize, man, John, why didn't you just hold that shot a little longer? So future you will think current you if you hold that shot. So the next thing I wanna talk about is setting the mood with the couple. And I'm not talking about like setting the mood, but you do have to put yourself in their shoes all day long. They've been running around like crazy. It's kind of an out of body experience. And to be honest, they're kind of out of that mode in their mind. And you have to help get them recentered to this really romantic or really fun time as you're going to be posing them. Usually you can tell that the couple, the bride's not wanting to do this or they're a little stressed. So you wanna set the mood and just help them be recentered. And you can do this by saying things like, this is the time of day that we've been waiting for. This is the footage your grandkids are gonna see. There's a lot of different cues, but you really wanna just help them forget the stress of the day. And I'll even say things like, I know there's a lot going on right now, but this is your time. This is the time that you're gonna look back on, on this video, on these photos, and you're gonna be so happy you just took your time 
We have plenty of time to do this, even if we don't have plenty of time to do this, but just keeping them nice and relaxed so they can be in that romantic mood or that fun, playful mood so you can get those shots. It looks really bad when a couple is really stressed or in a big hurry whenever it's time for their bride and groom portraits. And on the heels of that, you just want to keep it relaxed. I can't tell you how many times I've been with a photographer and they're just stressing the couple out. They're doing too much. Set your couple up, help them be relaxed, and just let them be comfortable with each other. By letting them be comfortable with each other, they're able to just be relaxed and it shows on film. Now, whether we like it or not, most weddings, almost every wedding that I've been to, yes, every wedding I've been to, there's been a photographer. And love it or hate it, they've been hired by the couple as well. And the photographer is usually used to being in command, the, the head honcho, they're the ones that's directing the portraits portion of the day. And you don't wanna get in the way of the photographer, but you also wanna make sure that you're known by the photographer that you're gonna have some poses and some things that you want to do with the couple. And so working with the photographer is going to be huge. So before the portrait session of the day, talk to the photographer, get to know the photographer, build relationship with that photographer so that when it comes time to doing this, you're going to be able to work with each other. And one of the things, one of the cues that I do is I will say right at the beginning, she's doing photo, I'm doing video, or he's doing photo, I'm doing video. Movement's really important for video. So once she gets you into a pose, I might ask after that pose, for you just to do a little bit of movement, a little bit of swing. I might move around you a little bit. And so that's one way that I work with the photographer. And then another thing I do is if a photographer gets the couple set up in a pose, I might just whisper quietly, hey, whenever you get done, I wanna have them look at each other real quick. Or when you get done, can you have them kiss? And we get in this groove of working together. So I'm not doing a pose and then they're doing a pose. Working with the photographer is going to be very huge for you. And most of the time, they're gonna be really happy that you're working with them. Now, another point is you want to step in creatively as well and direct the couple with a few poses. And if you're just taking what the photographer gives you, every single wedding is going to look different in your reel and that's not very good for your look. So you should actually have some go-to poses that you can go to when the photographer might be changing her lens or changing locations, but you want to step up and you want to give feedback too. Hey, before we move to this location, can you guys hold hands and walk that way can you guys hold hands and walk this way can you come towards me do you mind twirling her real quick but like taking that action is going to set you up as one of the authority figures in this session as opposed to just the fly on the wall wedding videographer one thing i really recommend when it comes to these poses is having them stored on your phone and speaking of go-to poses one of the things we highly recommend is our posing guide it's 20 of our favorite poses a pdf everything you need to give the couples a great experience at our store and the link is below for that but we're going to give you three of those poses just for watching this video so if you click the link below this video you'll be able to actually get three of our poses absolutely free you can take those with you on your shoots you can see if those work but that will be a huge help to you. We have a lot of content on posing inside of the Complete Wedding Videography course. There's also going to be a link under the video for that course, but hopefully these tips have been helpful. If you could take a second, like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Let us know in the comments what poses you do or maybe some helpful tips for people watching this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, we will see ya.